Hey folks, Rob here. And it's day number three of the uh, 10 Knives in 10 Days Challenge. And I thought I'd pull out this. Uh, this is a Uncle Henry. Uh, this is called the Golden Spike. Um, these have been made for years. I remember these when I was a young man. Of course, uh, at one point, uh, Uncle Henry and Charade and... Uh, Old timer and all those knives were made in the U.S. That's not the case anymore. But um, this knife here, uh, last year, my <clears throat> last summer, <clears throat> excuse me, my great nephew, uh, my niece's son, who has uh, always been more like a son to me than a, a great nephew. Actually, uh, he stayed with me a whole lot when he was a little fella and. Uh, you know, I taught him about fishing and things of that nature and took care of him. Uh, he uh, kind of had a rough way to go, and I kind of took him under my wing and and uh, tried to help uh, set the little fella straight. And uh, luckily, uh, he's doing awesome. He's uh, he's uh, turned out to be an outstanding young man. And uh, him and his fiance come up uh, last summer and spent a week with me, and... Uh, um, he come in and, uh, he was carrying this knife and he's like, uh, here, Uncle Rob, I, I bought you this. And I'm like, uh, he said, I know how much you like the old, uh, uh, you know, single action revolvers and, uh, thing of that nature. And he said, this kind of reminds me of an old, old fashioned knife. And, uh, but this is the Uncle Henry, uh, gold figure. And, uh, there's the model number on it if you and uh he gave this to me and uh it's just a it's a nice knife these are always were good uh and it's sharp uh i haven't cut anything with it yet uh, up to and including myself but uh you know just a a nice knife uh i intend to uh if i get to deer hunt this year and uh you know i'm going to use this knife to uh process a deer if i get one so, uh, as of right now, since I moved off the ridge, I really don't have any place to hunt and, uh, kind of don't know anybody that, uh, you know, has any land for me to hunt on. So going hunting, I don't know if it'll happen this year or not. Uh, I could always go on public land, but, uh, the Daniel Boone National Forest, but that's just kind of hit or miss. But, uh, anyway... Uh, if I do get to hunt, uh, actually this year, if I get to hunt, I would like to, uh, hunt with my old, uh, 1972, uh, Winchester 3030 and my strap on my 1972, uh, Ruger, uh, 357 Blackhawk and put this on my belt and, uh, and, uh, have an old, uh, old timey hunt. And, uh, but anyway... This is a, and this come in a pretty nice case. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's not the best leather, but it's, it's not terrible. I mean, it's not finished real well by any means, but you know, at least you do get a, a leather sheath. This one came with a little, little sharpening stone in there, in the little pocket, and uh, so that's there. This is these just nice little little knife, uh, you know. Um, it's uh, you know priceless to me because it was given to me by my great nephew, and uh, guys, most of my knives are going to be something that has a story behind it because I don't I don't buy a lot of knives. So typically, they're given to me. Um, I have some knives that I've purchased, but. Uh, uh, most of them have a story or have been given to me or gifted to me and uh, so they have a they have some meaning behind them I mean anybody can go out to uh, Walmart buy a knife out of the counter and and bring it home and make a video on it and but you know these knives have uh, sentimental value to me and beyond the value of the knife and uh, so that's kind of why I want to showcase them. Uh, the 10 knives and 10 days challenge. It's not to bring out your, uh, you know, your, I mean, you can if you want your, uh, 
I don't know. I don't even own a top of the line knife. I don't even know what brand I would use in reference. Uh, Benchmade. I don't. I don't know. Uh, but uh, you know, and, and that's fine if though if you have those types of knives and they, you know, that's what you enjoy. Uh, I enjoy the story behind my knife. So anyway, guys, look at the Uncle Henry uh, Golden Spike and uh, gift from a great uh, my great. My grand, he's my niece's son, so he'd be my great nephew. I'll get that right. You know, I am senile and old, so uh, sometimes the thoughts come go out of my head quicker than they come in my head. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to join up the 10 Knives and 10 Days Challenge, uh, feel free to join. And guys, remember when you're doing these challenges, the hashtag, you know, 10, if you'll, if you'll put it out in that format, hashtag in your description, hashtag 10 knives in 10 days challenge. Anybody who types that into their Google search engine, uh, just like the 10 guns challenge, if you type in hashtag 10 guns in 10 days, it's going to pull up every associated video with this. So... Uh, theoretically, in the future, somebody could type in that hashtag and pull up every uh, related video. So, you know, if you do it, you know, try to use the hashtag and it will link all of our videos into one uh, uh, Google search and it will pull up everybody's videos. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And until the next one, we'll see you later.